long five times. Five. What we are doing in this? This is P one point seven. This is P one point zero. And then like it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. So when I put a a, what is the value? A is what? One zero, one zero, one zero, one zero. Yesterday we have discussed, or like day before yesterday we have discussed. Every port will have two register, the two values that will show. One is the value for the latch, another is the value for pin. If you go in the lab, is one more down here. Right? This represents latch. This represents pin value, exact pin value itself. Okay. Yesterday we have told output path and input path. Output path is latch. Through latch it will go to the pin. You remember this? Through latch it will go to the pin value. Output path. The input path is pin directly comes to the internal uh, register, internal bus. You are understanding this? Here also internal bus is there. Internal bus to latch, latch to pin. This is the output path. The input path is pin to internal bus. It will not go through latch. Because the latch we use it for setting the register. There was a statement. Uh, we will we'll, uh, leave it there. Uh, this you understood? Is it clear? Is this clear? Now when you do this, when you are doing this one, P one zero A, this will also set because you are outputting to P one. This is outputting to P one, right? If P one is this side, it is source register. If P1 is this set, this is a destination register. I am putting a value to P1 means like I am sending output on the P1. This is a value that gets set. The similarly pin value also will get set. Why? Because of this reason. Latch, pin are same line. Right? Now, a very important point is this. This, if you do it normally, the A will have A. A, a what will be the content of A? A, a only. You are getting what I am saying, right? Now what you have to do is, this pin of this port, sixth pin of the port, is set as output pin, because it is zero. You remember? And as it is, if it is one, it is set as input. Now you go and click on this, in the port register, if you click on this, you can change this to zero or one. But if you try to click on this, it will give a change the pin which you have set as an output port, output pin. <coughs> you getting what I am saying? Once you set that as an output pin, this as an output pin, you cannot change it from the external entity. Instead of connecting switch, physical connection of a switch to ground and then pressing a switch, we are just clicking here to go it to 1. There are only two options here. It has to be 1 or 0. 0, if it is 0, it will become 1. If it is 1, it will become 0. You getting what I am saying? Physically, we are forcing it to become 1. It will throw error. You are trying to change the... Whatever it was. The meaning is this. You are trying to change the pin which you have set as output to some value, which is not possible. Externally, not possible. But if you try with this, you can change it to 1, you can change it to 0 because this is set as an input pin. I can connect a switch to this pin, press it so that it will become 0, leave it, it will become high. Yesterday's discussion. You are getting what I am saying? Please experiment with this. 
this is a very simple program but logical understanding of the port will rise from here clarity of understanding of the port will rise from here am i clear on this the port study initially it is slightly sensitive if you don't understand the slight difference between this latch and the pin then you will get confused throughout the process so for that understanding this is a better experiment is it clear please all of you do this and try it next lab when you come first thing you should do this and that uh, yesterday the end has to be at the end we discussed right it has to be at the end that like we cannot write once we write the assembler assumes that like it is over nothing is there after that so whatever you want to write you write it in a series and then like at the last statement of your program there has to be end it is we are telling an assembler our code code starts from here code ends to here then like you convert it to the op codes is it clear please if i we had have, yesterday we have corrected it right done right so what we do today today we will start with uh, what is that what we will start today uh, c program <clears throat> how many of you are not keeping well today healthy anybody has a disease see it is so good when somebody asks you how are you it is so bad when somebody asks you what disease you have correct right same question same question the asking is different way so uh, we we'll take one minute to tell this okay please bear with <clears throat> when i was listening to a lecture by a professor the doctor he was saying there is no human being without a disease or no animal without a disease or no not animal no living being without a disease there will be a disease for everybody who is living right but the point is will that allow you to do your work or not that is the point the healthy life is said to be as enthusiasm to do work if you are enthusiastic to do something right then me that means you are healthy that's the definition but if you physically or biologically you go and check this whether this guy has a disease everybody has a disease right this is on the physical scale that will grow this is the same case also on the mental side everybody has a mental disease one or other way right this is if, uh, psychologically if you study everybody has nobody has, is so perfect in this world that like they are 100% mentally fit no not possible everybody has it but what makes a problem is ignorance if you ignore that it will stretch if it if you keep uh, if you are aware on that like you can keep it in order that is the only difference how i will tell you my example i have a disease called as uh, 10 minutes delay now this is normally like whether i go for meeting whether i go for only for my marriage like my wife has she was knowing me right like so she told like 7 o'clock or 7:30 was this thing she told like it is 6:45 so i went at 7 7 o'clock or 7:10 <coughs> if i ignore on that right it will stretch if i am aware yeah i have to i have this problem then like i can keep it in order maximum 10 day 10 minutes delay if i slightly ignore it it will stretch because i don't calculate the time of coming from my root college now you are understanding what i am saying this is how it happens right so shall we start with c programming all of you are comfortable with uh, the assembly those 27 programs are must next lab we are trying to shift to c it is your responsibility now to work on those 27 programs and out at any point somebody gives you a white sheet you should write that program with understanding and if there is a small change also you should be able to write it okay you should not be like oh 27 programs only in that only comes no those are fundamental programs covering all types of instruction that is the main part in that. right yeah the c program why should we go to c r 
assembly is so good it is nice correct right no why yaar no assembly is good or not good nice or not nice not nice why why it is huh difficult to read a program why move a comma b is what difficulty you have huh the <laughs> dj and the one instruction yeah your for loop is not good dj and it is good huh nested loops ha huh? what is the difficult like that yesterday see how nicely we have calculated the time delay for you are not there in that class for led blinking we have nicely calculated can you do it in c not possible you cannot do that to the extent that we have went exactly the calculating a value not possible ah uh, different you said assembly is not good right different it here dj and it is one instruction which will give you a simple for loop your for loop is for i equal to 0 then i have to do i less than this and then like compare it who will do that like one instruction chalo okay next for you the calculation of that this is very perfect in assembly it is not possible in c at all next oh you are comparing with bubble sort bubble sort uh yeah we will hold on to this anybody has other argument i didn't get you yeah yeah it's possible in assembly also you said you just want to create one more file and include it is possible in assembly also whether why it is complex it is complex or not we'll discuss according to his bubble sort we'll come to that next except that next next tell me all the guys who don't like assembly please tell me don't worry about the you should what is that <laughs> no no 20 minutes delay this is <laughs> my student right Sir has 10 minutes delay problem. He has 20 minutes. Right. Yes. This is important point. You are not. You should not worry about where you are storing, what you are storing. C will take care of that. Actually, compiler will take care of that. Not C. Right. Next. What about this guy from the third bench to that side? They are so dull. not active why not interested ye na ito yeah tell me like you do you like assembly or not ah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best way yeah we like the where are your party you defend for us no no then you learn only assembly like i will ask you only assembly to write a bubble sort and like all this programs next we teach should write in only assembly bharat quickly quickly ha huh, next c has a huge no no c has a lot of syntaxes than the assembly assembly has a very minimal syntax Ah, uh, that procedure, the architecture flow is there like that. Ah, uh, you can do that in assembly also. Write one library and keep the library ready. Now, like string length, somebody has written it for you, right? No, you are not understanding. In build means somebody has written that and given it for you. Like that you will get for eighty fifty one also. We don't know that in our syllabus it is not there. We don't know that. That's all. It's not a problem. Right? Right. Listen to me now. Assembly is the coolest programming procedure. Why is so? 
because you understand at every point like what is happening inside you are understanding a equal to this what is happening inside you know but i will tell you in a equal to 20 you tell me where it is storing tell me where it is storing in c in a equal to 20 where will it go a is what some memory location named as a where somewhere in the ram somewhere in the ram where we don't know <laughs> that is where i will i want to tell you you know apollo 11 apollo 11 there's a story or like you can read about uh, mars uh, i don't believe it is rover after rover what was the pathfinder first then they launched the rover you know what is the rover and pathfinder please search for this these are all like machines went to mars from the earth to explore the mars field they had some problem in the machine saying that like <clears throat> the counter is to reset counter counter is to reset in apollo 11 it, it was a point problem it it blasted like it at, at certain height it blasted. that the problem is a floating point right in this the counter is to reset my thinking is that if they would have written the program in assembly they would have debugged that error well before like launching it because every line is so clear in assembly Uh, considering to the clarity of the program assembly is good is very very clear what is happening is very very clear what is happening inside what is happening in the instruction it is very clear what is the problem <coughs> problem is once you write an assembly program using an assembly program for a code for 8051 you cannot change the controller for that you should know all the 44 instruction or 55 instruction whatever it gives you should study that first right so then like you should start using it first studying and understanding itself will take certain time and then like using and feeling the comfortability with this will take certain more time that is the problem for different controllers there will be different mnemonics those mnemonics you should study and they will do different operation those things you should study right that is a problem where it is a problem when you want to shift to from project 1 to project 2 where the complexity is different when the complexity is different you need to do the different controller then you need to study whole things again that's where what c provides is the flexibility of transferring from here to here now the question how it provides how does c provides you have studied this point in c c is a portable language or something that you studied Ah, uh, why? How it provides? What is C does? You write a code in dot C. What is your next script? Is is there, madam? Ah, dot C. Some DMS dot C or return a program, right? Finally, it will become BMS dot EXE. We call this as a high-level language code. This as a low-level language code. Same thing. What is in this and what is in this? This has a C kind of instruction or like English kind of instruction. If while for what about this guy? This has ones and zeros. What are these ones and zeros? Machine learning. it is op code because machine understands only op code it does not understand anything else so what you need to do is you should include one library library dot h file which will uh, uh, make sure that like this c will be converting the machine code for this header file through this header file which is meant for 8051 register or 8051 processor or controller you change this you change the header file you're getting what i'm saying because c will not understand what is port 0 i want it to tell that like c it is not a variable it is a port which has address 0x80 then i have to define it somewhere i will define it in this one right like that there is a header file called as reg51 <laughs> reg 51.h if you include this it is for 8051 there is reg 
for 8052. There is similar to that, there will be PIC controllers or other controllers, Motorola controllers, for that there will be different files. You need to include that file which will help you to convert this to the particular processor code. Am I clear on this? Am I clear on this? For coming to your question, now somebody has to give me this file, otherwise I cannot write the C program. What is the advantage of C program as a portability? Because if for while wide mean the return zero function writing, prototyping, passing in are standard. All remain standard, whether it is the 8051 or 8052 or some other controller. Why is standard? Because C has that structure. C also has some things. You should know those things of so the printf, scanf, or the for loop, while loop, all those things. They are standard. What is the change? Change this part. If you don't change this part, it is also not portable. If you freeze on to this, it is also not portable. Am I clear? Am I clear on this? The advantage of C is that, and like now somehow, it will take care of int 20, where to store. It will take care by itself as in 8051, it will start from 0x30. A equal to 0x30. In this memory location, it will store 20. Why is this? Because there are general standard rules defined in the Reg51 library saying that like this part is of the RAM is general purpose data memory. That rule has to be defined, otherwise this guy will not understand. He will not understand. How, do, how does he will understand what is the architecture there? Right? Are you clear with this? So what it is doing? It is assigning A to this and doing this one. Similarly, there will be standard rules for writing wide main. When you write wide main, what happens internally? Normally, C will inject first instruction as 0x0000. Zero 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 zero. This is if you write a C program just wide main. Don't write anything. Just this is a program. You above this, you should use uh, what is that? Hash include. Res 51 dot h double it comma or like this I one of them <coughs> right if you do this program just write this program if that's all is the program there's nothing inside of the content at all still then in opcode you will have when you go to disassembly window see this has to be converted to disassembly which to go to the X file some compilers show you that some compiler does not show you that that's the point right so when some compiler like 8051 now what we have it will show you if you see the disassembly window there will be 30 25 to 30 lines of code for this for the blank thing what what it will write i will tell you one example first statement what it does is l jump l jump to some location it will have like uh, 300 edge it will start your program from there it will not start from begin, it will not start from 00 H. What we write in assembly, we start with 00 H. Why it does that? Like it has its own reasons. We will come to that like when we are discussing in depth. Okay. First program that everybody start writing in C is this. One write on blank program, go debug mode and see what is there in this assembly window. You should see that. Then only you will understand, okay, if I write like this, it will become like this. Now you know the assembly to understand those instructions, then you can correlate. Am I clear with this? Right? So highest, uh, the greatest help from the C uh, that comes is the portability. That like if I change the controller, I don't need to worry on the learning of the opcodes. Right? Or like remembering, see now like in the exam what they do, it's from my side, it is not right, but it is how the system runs, but like we have to live with that. They should give you opcode sheet in the exam, that's what is my uh, argument. Why is that? Because you don't need to remember an opcode. When you change a controller, all that you need to do in the industry also or like in the practical projects also, they will have the opcode sheet. They will study this opcode and then they will do it. But what the uh, right now system running is, believes is, you have learned three months course on the same thing 
and there are only 44 of course you should know in depth everything right that is also right this is also right but my argument was on this side but anyway so of course sheet you should be uh, clear with now whatever i used to tell you to carry the of course sheet by from this class you should remember the of course sheet because in your if you practice your some programs the 27 programs that i have given you 99% of all of codes will come in uh, the instructions will come in that mnemonic okay right so please write the first point programming 8051 in c programming 8051 in c first one what you will write what i taught you what i taught you not now from the day one i am teaching you only one thing ha ha hello pa hello hey guys listen what i have taught you why do you do what you do First is right, why is C programming? Saying that like it is like that is not a problem. You should also give a reason for that, why it is like that. And that reason exists for that situation. I say like assembly is a cool language to write. It is for certain situation, it is not for universal this one. C is portable, C is easy to write. Yes, it is certain, certain reasons, it is yes. So that reasons you should know. Okay, right. Uh, why C programming? First one. First one, what is the best, the easiest form, where best point from the C? Ease of programming. Ease of programming. Programming becomes easy now. E programming. Second one, portability. Portability. You know what is portability, right? You know the general syntax of C. Whether you do work with this controller or that controller or that controller, you just need to change the header file. Okay, header file will take care of that. Next one, third point. C exactly follow the standard rules predefined by predefined by the architecture. C exactly follows these standard rules predefined by architecture. Done? Written? C exactly follows the standard rules defined by the architecture. Whoever has designed 8051, right? If he would have written the code, However, he follows the procedure, it follows the same way. That is the meaning. Okay? Then like, now what is the disadvantage of the C? What is the disadvantage of the C? Huh? Yeah, code size is, code size, disadvantage of C. Disadvantage of C. Code size is, code size is larger than larger than assembly code assembly code now the second this is clear if you write the same program in assembly and if you write the same program in c the code size in here will be large, larger finally code size is what in your when you debug it will see give you size 09 or 26 something it will give you that is the code size, not by lines. You should not count by lines. Hitesh, should not count by lines in the C or assembly. Finally, how much does your opcodes generated? That is the size that we have to look at. Now, what I will tell you one more point. Now, you can consider it as an advantage to some situation, disadvantage to some situation. But we will write it here. Second one. Abstract handling. Abstract handling of the basic concepts. of the basic concepts abstract handling of the basic concept means what this one 
in day equal to 20. The base concept is that like this is general purpose and this is a 20 memory, I have to put it to this one. But it handles like this. It handles it abstract. Abstract handling is good in many cases, not good in many cases. I cannot say some, somewhere. Both, there are many cases. When the system complexity is so much, like building a, a rocket or like the Mars rover, then that needs a abstract handling. Like we, when we studied DEC or the last semester DEC, we have studied a multiplexer with respect to gate, not with respect to transistor. Finally, transistors will be there, right? We could have studied with respect to transistors. Then just imagine your carry located adder, 4 bit. So many transistors. I think we need four boards like this to write the structure. Right? Abstract handling is good for some cases or many cases when the system complexity is so much. Gate itself is an abstract entity. You know this, right? Physically, there is no gate. Physically, there is only transistor. We think, okay, this kind of transistor altogether make one gate. With that gate, we made one half, half adder, full adder. And then we went to the parallel adder. Then we went to the carry located adder. Right? In carry located adder, what we did, we just went till gate level, not transistor level. The depth of analysis was still that only. Am I clear on this? This is the abstract phenomena. From creating a full adder from the half adder or the uh, four bit adder from the adder, full adder, not by transistors. Basic concept is transistors. This is good in many cases. Thus, at the same time, like it is also not good in many cases. Okay, you will not understand the depth of the behavior of the circuit. Am I clear on this? We believe that like transit, the, believe, believe, the bottom layer is working perfectly. Then we create a half order and full order on that and then we will go ahead with that. Abstract handling. So this comes under both. It is advantage and also disadvantage. Is it clear? In your textbook it is under disadvantage. That is why I have given you that. But my argument is that it is both. It is also not the advantage. Okay, right. Next one. Now that's all the, for the advantages and disadvantages of C. First thing when we start studying C, like what should we study? I am not going to teach you while loop or this will. I believe you know it. I am not going to deal with that. What is that we should know? Huh? Huh? No, linking will come at the end. First thing, imagine like we started learning uh, 8 zero, sorry, C programming. What you studied in the first? <laughs> that is with respect to the programming side. Data types. First thing that you should know is what data types your programming language supports. Does it support string directly? Or does it support only int and uh, char and float? There is no other thing. You should know that first. Right? So first, let's start with that. Data types in... Data types in C. Data types in C. For A051. Data types in C. For A051. For A051. Right? First thing, what is the first thing? What is the first thing? Unsigned char. You know what is char? Character. Unsigned character. What is the... <coughs> how many bits for the character? 8 bit value. Right? As it is unsigned, what is the range? What is the range for 8 bit? Unsigned value. Arrow minus 0 to 255. So your number in here can go from 0 to 255. So what you can do? Unsigned care. BMS you can give. Value of BMS will go from 0 to FF. One of this value it will get. Clear on this? Right. Next. What is next? What is next? Just care. Not just like character. Just, or you can write signed care. It is one and the same. 
What is the size of this? 8 bit. What is the range of this? Minus 128 to 2 plus 1, no, 0, 2 plus 127. Anyway, it has to be that only. Minus 128 to plus 27. If you count like 0, I have. <clears throat> right? Right? Right. Next one. What is next one? Unsigned int. Unsigned int. What is the size of this? 16 bits. 16 bits. What is the range? Hmm? 2 raised to 16 is what? Ah, what is the number here? 6, 5? 5, 3? 5. 0 include 5, 6 it will be. Ah, but next is signed in. Oh, sorry. See, this kind of doubts only teacher can do and Balaji can understand. <laughs> Next, signed int. Signed int or int is normal int. It's the same thing. Like care, I can, if I write int, it will be, normally it will be signed. What is the size of this? What is the range? I don't remember you are clear. Minus 32768 plus divide this by 2 here, you will get that. How do you got this 2 raised to 16? 16 bits. Are you getting what I am saying? The same thing. 2 raised to 8, 256. Divide this by 2, this will be the range that you get. Plus half, half on plus side, half on. Next. Ah, this is important with respect to the this one. It is uh, S bit. S bit. 1 bit. It is just 1 bit value. 1 bit value. What it does? Please write there. In there you write. SFR bit addressable only. SFR bit addressable only. In what is the SFR range? 80 to FF. 7F is RAM. From 80 to SFR will start. In 80 to FF, what is the if there are bit addressable there are bit addressable register. For them, we can use yes bit. We'll say what is this exactly with example. Right now you just mention that it is there. Okay? Next one. Bit. Sixth one. Bit. Again, one bit here. Again, one bit here. What is this? RAM bit addressable registers only. RAM bit addressable registers are what? Huh? 2 to 2F. In RAM also, there is a bit addressable register, right? 2 to 2 f to address that we will use this one next we have uh, seventh one as sfr by itself sfr by itself it is 8 bit it is 8 bit it is 8 bit sfr sfr all the memories, whether it is bit addressable or not, uh, not all those can be addressed using this one. 
that is 0, 8, 0 to FF, same, SF for all the SFR. It is a byte addressable, finally. Like you say int A, now you can say SFR A. You are getting what I am saying? But that has to refer to only SFR registers. Right? Right, ma'am. So what we do? We will write one small program in C. The program that we write now is the default program for testing the ports, port values or ports, whether it is working right or wrong. When it is manufactured in the factory, 8051 is manufactured in the factory, they will take it and put it in the board and check whether all pins are working properly. How do they check? The, they use the same code that we use, right? Well, how do we check a port? You know, you did your work on that. Then, then hello. See, I feel bad when Nikhil is sitting at the last bench alone. Simply, I just told him sometime, like, last warning, and like, he is going and sitting there. You can sit with them, not with Hitesh, don't sit with Hitesh. You can sit with anybody else and, like, don't talk. That's all. I don't want you to stay, 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 sit in the last bench alone. I don't like it. The other side also. Should I give a warning for that? <laughs> right. <clears throat> right. So what we do is we'll write one small program to check all the pins of the port are working properly in whole 8051. Okay. Or like particular port will write and then it is true for other ports. This is how we start a program in C. Program in Keel, when we start with C programming, because by default it has included stdio.h. By default it is there already, I don't need to include it now. Keel has taken care of that. Now I have to include what we I require. I require res 51, so I have written that res 51. You know what is res 51 now? You know what is res 51? That explanation was clear.